Alright. What's up, you two? Welcome to day two of Standard. Uh, your boy's here with OTT because... It's technically the second week. Shut up, those trial looks don't Take count. Um, about the, um, what is it? Sh Pete, shut up. <laughs> um, Take it. I'm playing OTT because everybody else on our, this godforsaken mess of a team is playing every other clan, so we did a K split. So I have everything, and we're good. Lozenge Megas, because this is the only starter available, that and the furry, and if you're, and it's OTT, so you're supposed to be a waifu whore, not a furry. So Lozenge Megas is the starter. Grade zeros, it's the first set, so we're running the only trigger lineup we have available, really, which is four draw, four heal, and eight crits. Funk. Because it's OTT, you don't r need and you don't really want dr um, more than the four draws in the form of the PG. Also, you crit people to death, because that's how OTT really does things. So, OTT's trigger lineup is basically... It makes itself. Grade ones, we're going four copies of Circle Magus. So on Van, uh, well, so she has two effects. One is on Van or Rear, if you drive check a grade two or greater card, you can put it to the bottom to draw a card. And because you people don't know how to read and are bad at this game, no, if you have two Circle Maguses, you don't get to put one back and draw two. That's not how it works. Okay. Also, when you ride on top of her, you can counterblast one and draw. So it's great because you have Lozenge Vegas, draw, go on her, draw again. So, uh, Circle's lit. Circle's a great card. Next, that's why it's a triple R, because it has those two solid effects. Then four copies of Gemini. If you have three or more, move it into Soul to counter charge one. Deck uses Soul, Deck uses counterblast, gets you all those back. Prime, prime weird robo alien babies. That's based off astrology. How much is exactly. It? No, it's based off of Beyblade Metal Fusion. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Right. No, it's fine. Um, we're going two copies of For Fall Magus, which is on call, check top, top or bottom at your choice. Because we're only running two, because we're also running two copies of Luckburg, which is on call, soul blast, two draw, and it gets 6k till end of turn. This is a solid card, because drawing is always nice, and it becomes an 11k. But you only want to because soul is a thing, so the uh, slots available are, are lozenge. So this is the list that I like to go with because it's a nice grade twos. Four copies of the obvious promise daughter. If, on on attack, if you have four more hand, 6k to hit those force numbers. And it can't be retired by card effects, so it's an instant uh, fuck you to Kagero and Narukami, which isn't even out yet. So resist is fun. But, 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 uh, premium. What's premium? <laughs> uh, um, three copies of Soto Orihime, um, solid card, on attack, counter blast one, draw one, discard one, and you can check the top, and if you, draw one, discard one, and if you have a, and plus 6k, and if you have a grade three vanguard, check top and top or bottom it, it's more scrying, you can use it after your vanguard attack for defensive triggers mm -hmm. to fuck over Nova Grappler, um, hand sculpting is always good. Uh, yeah. Last grade two is three copies of uh, Tommy Wiseau. Um, I'm probably gonna, I'm, I'm thinking about dropping this for Mimi just because um, Tom can only be guarded by triggers and PGs are triggers now, so it's become so easy to stop Tom. And it's also only a 9k, so like, I don't think I'm gonna be running Tom when this deck is 100% done, but it's decent now. So it's fine. Uh, next, uh, the, our main utility grade three, four copies of Amaterasu. Um, Counterblast one for a firm plus one. Lets you scry for drive checks to make those even better. And also on van or rear, you get 5k each time you look at your deck. So, you know, making that big is solid. That's how you also hit numbers. Lover. Next is four copies of the Queen Imperial Daughter, which is on ride, counterblast one, check top two, add one to hand, and the other either goes to top deck or soul. And if you rode on top of a grade three, 15k and a crit, so it's effectively a break ride, but without damage restriction. 
But because you don't need to be on three to get the dr the draw effect, it's also really nice even as a first ride. Explain to the subs what break ride is since they're Jeep babies. I don't know what a limit break is. I only know standard. Um, and also, once per turn, you can soul blast one to give a card 6k just to help hit force. Lastly, we're running two copies of the friggin' deer. Because this card is actually really good, and considering all the drawing and soul charging you do, using its skill is actually pretty but easy. People on Vanguard say it's noob bait. X3. Noob bait? Yeah. What the fuck does that even mean? To make people that are new to the game think it's good. What well, it do is, is Soul Blast two grade threes and discard a card. Okay, cool. So you have to ride grade threes at least three times, but it works on Van or Rear, so you can ride, get a gift, and then call it to Rear, so that you can do both. And when you pay the cost, check the top seven, take two critical triggers and put them on the top of your deck. The rest are shuffled and put, are shut. the other five are shuffled, put to the bottom at random so you don't get to see them. And when you do that, all of your cards get 10k. This is the real finisher because it helps you get crits and it helps you get big beefy numbers all a Soul Saver Dragon. So that's good. And last but not least, we are running four copies of the uh, promo Protect Gift. We're not running the Secret Rare because it's a weeaboo and it costs $60 and we're not running the Misaki one because it's a weeaboo. This is the only pure one because we're not weeaboos here. So, uh, that's it. S this is standard. It's These are going to be shorter now because G units aren't real. Still got to get that 10 minute out of here though. We got th uh, 3 minutes, uh, 20 seconds left. Okay. So, you, uh, yeah. Let's add some unnecessary comments. Or, you know, just um, like a third, 3 minute long outro. Oh, Alright, okay, thanks. Bye, YouTube. Where are we?